What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the Air Jordan 13, Black Flint. Okay guys, so these officially dropped today along with the Wash Pink Air Jordan 1s. And it's been a long time since we've seen two Air Jordan drop on the same day. Normally we get the release date that both are gonna drop, but then one normally gets pushed back and they didn't push these back and we get two pair of shoes today. And there's been a few weeks where, you know, we didn't see any drops. So I'm not sure why shoes didn't drop on those weeks. But anyway, here we go. This is the shoe right here. This shoe did cost 200 bucks today. Current resale is going for about 220. If you guys wait a little bit longer, you could possibly get these for under retail. This is the box right here, normal box. We get the gray box with the Jumpman in the middle in red. I did go with a size 9.5 on these. We don't get suggested retail on the box. Once again, these do cost 200 bucks. Open up the top of the box. We don't get a stamp on the inside of the top of the box. We get some normal tissue paper here. And we get this beautiful colorway. I do like this colorway a lot. Um, very easy to match with. And uh, these are really, really nice in person, I will say. On the inside of the box, we don't get a sticker. And that's pretty much on the inside of the box. But uh, let's get right into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get the gray, black, and white. We got a little bit of carbon fiber down there in black and white. You see the red hologram jump man right there. Okay, pretty dope in my opinion. Coming towards the midsole here, we get the white and gray on the midsole on both the outside and the inside. We're seeing that really nice suede gray. We do have a little bit of pattern change on there when you do put your hand on it. Coming towards the base of the shoe here, this shoe is mimicked after the black cat because Michael Jordan did have a name of being like a cat on the court very quick. And that's why you look at the bottom of the shoe here, it looks like a paw. And when you guys look at the outside and on the inside, we see little indents on the shoe looking like the whiskers of the cat. And if you guys look towards the back here, we can get the hologram. That's supposed to be the cat eye. Pretty dope in my opinion. So let me know if you guys can see the correlation when you guys are looking at this shoe. Okay, but other than that, on the outside of the shoe here, it does come in gray, higher. We do get this black cloth-like material, which is 3M. So I'm gonna show you guys all parts and all sides of the shoe that does have 3M. Pretty dope in my opinion. Most of the Air Jordan 13s do have that 3M hit, but some of them do not. But this one does, and it really has a nice touch to it. Show you guys the outside of the shoe. In my opinion, I love the color blocking on this shoe. And then we see a little bit of the white tumble leather going towards the front of the shoe right there. Same thing on the inside of the shoe, but on the inside of the shoe, we get like a half and half split. We get the gray on the bottom half, which is in that gray suede, which does once again have that pattern change. We see the black cloth material, which has a 3M hits in between where you see the white speckles or gray speckles on the middle of the shoe right there. Okay, let me know if you guys are picking these up. Is it a copper drop for you guys? Are you guys gonna wait for the price on these to go down? Or are you guys just not gonna get them at all? Let me know in the comments box below. On the toe box here, we do get this white toe box. These will crease up pretty easily. So make sure you guys put some more shoe trees in these. I have a code of Y Davis if you guys wanna get some crease beast inserts. Okay, so just use that code and it will save you about five bucks on that on the mud guard here we do get this white mud guard we see the black creeping up from the bottom of the shoe we do unfortunately get only one pair of laces in these and come to white laces at the bottom of the tongue it says jordan on both shoes we do get this white tumble leather tongue at the top of the tongue jordan in red on the inside of the tongue it says the sizing and the production date on this was 08 11 22 to 12 13 22 give you guys a quick look on the inside of the shoe we do get some tissue inserts we do get black on the sock lining. The actual insole of the shoe is in black. This is the cheap insoles, even though the Air Jordan 12 and 13s are some of the most comfortable shoes on the Jordan brand. We do get some cheap insoles with these, but the insole is black with the jump in, in red. Turn it over, it is in blue. Normally that is gray. Underneath the actual insole, it is white in there with some white stitching. Okay, coming towards the back of the shoes, we get some black gray once again we see the hologram on the outside of the shoe right there depending on which way you move it in the lighting it has a jump man or a 23 okay and then it goes between gray and that black towards the back of the shoe all right now i'm gonna show you guys my footage in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion number two size nine i'm gonna get nine and a half in on my shoes i did go up half a size on these now even though we don't get the dream cell insoles on these we get the cheap insoles air jordan 13s air jordan 12s are pretty much you know the most comfortable air jordans in the air jordan line in my opinion and i will say that these are pretty comfortable as well now, i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right here so i'm looking around but if you guys cannot tell i have a lot of space and a lot of room to do that this is where my big toe is i have a lot of space in the front of this toe box 
but uh, I do have a good amount of space on the outside as you guys can see when I push down right here and a good amount of space on the inside and I don't feel that material at all on these shoes. Also, this is normally how I like to wear my shoes unlaced on the right side and I don't have any slippage on here just in case you guys were wondering about going up half a size if you want a better wearing experience or have a wider foot. But I'm going to show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love, and stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you. 